Would you please welcome onto the pitch the teams from Oxford City and Epswing United! And good afternoon and welcome to the sunshine in North Kent where Epsleet United entertain Oxford City in the Vanarama National League South. And it's Epsleet in first place in the table against Oxford City in third. And I would say we we're uh, around uh, two and a half thousand or more in Stonebridge Road, mainly in the red and white of Epsleet, uh, who line up with two changes from the side that won 1-0 at Taunton last Saturday. Out of the lineup go Billy Clifford and Ben Chapman, who dropped to the bench, and they're replaced by Amari Sterling James and Franklin Domi, who both came off the bench last Saturday. So it's a complete lineup with Mark Cousins in goal, Luke O'Neill, Captain Chris Solly, and Joe Martin at the back. A midfield with Amari Sterling James wide on the right, Greg Cundall wide on the left, and in the middle, Christian and Gesson, Josh Wright and Franklin Domi. In front of them, Toby Edson, and up top, uh, Dominic Pollion with his 33 league goals, 35 in total. Get them promotion and the title, a fleet win, even better. And the referee signals that play can get underway with Oxford in blue and white hoops, rather like QPR or Reading, with black shorts and black socks. And I've got John Still alongside me, the former Maidstone manager. He uh, is scouting for South End. Oh. And Gesson in trouble. And Gesson loses control, but Solly's there to help him out of the back. And just in front of me, I've got Terry Casey, the uh, Maidstone owner. Maybe looking at players that uh, you might want to recruit for next season. Here's Edsa. Edsa, left wing to Cundall. Cundall onto Edsa. Edsa down by the touchline. Is Cundall there? Cundall turns. It's to right. Right leaves it. Oh, and Sterling James couldn't connect. It's down the line, it's tough for Sterling James to chase, but he does. Pollyon! Oh, he misses from two yards out. Dominic Pollyon had lead goal number 34 at his mercy. Cundall on the left wing to Martin. Just right, a small ball into the box to Pollyon. Pollyon! Pollyon! Yes! Dominic Pollyon! 1-0, 11 minutes on the clock, Dominic Pallion, he makes goal number 34 in the league. Dominic Pallion holds up Rakish Bingham's shirt, this one is for Rakish. Dominic Pallion, what a classy act. That one's for Rakish. Dominic Pallion puts the fleet ahead. Are they on their way? What a goal, Dominic Pullion with his 34th goal of the season in the league, 36 in total, but he doesn't count cup it's goals. Dominic Oxford struggling to contain them. Domi does well to win the ball, 20 yards out, he's on the edge of the box. Domi brought down, surely, no, the referee says no foul. He certainly went to ground following a challenge, but the referee said it was not a foul. Lolos goes down. He's never going to get a free kick out of that. And here's Candle, left hand side of the area. Candle with only Davis ahead of him. Candle shoots the goalkeeper, oh, dives and saves with his chest. As uh, Sterling James was coming in. And Joe Martin can't get this as Cousins clears. It's going to be a throw in. Looking quickly to Lolos. Domi tried to hold on the coattails of McEachran. Fleet, Fleet, oh Fleet with a shot, dipping shot over the bar and Ebsley undone there. It'll be Joe Martin to take the throw in. Back to Sully, to Martin. Christian and Gesson threads the ball through to Cousins. There is the half-time whistle. They go in at the break with the score and Ebsley one, Oxford City nil. There are your teams, the referee, as I said, he's Oliver Mackey. Oxford, they're in blue and white hoops, rather like uh, QPR or Reading. Black shorts, black socks. Epsley in their traditional red shirts, white shorts, red socks. Moves it across field to Potter. Sully comes across to cover Potter's movement forward. He does ever so well with the help of Sterling James. Now Pollyon on the right wing. Cowles racing to get back with him. But Pollyon is in the box. He's got Carrot one way or the other. Yes! Pollyon! Pollyon makes it 2-0. Dominic Pollyon, goal number 35 in the league. Dominic Pollyon, 51 minutes. Absolute 2, Oxford.
Oxford City nil. Dominic Pulliam. Quality. That is quality. Dominic. Dominic Pulliam. We're going to go over to radio shortly. Davis heads clear to Edsa. And here's Pulliam again. He's going through the middle. He's got Coyle with him. Pulliam! Hatchet! Pulliam! Pulliam! 3 0! Dom's on target! 62 minutes. It's Pulliam. We go number 36. Who can stop Polly on and on and on? Dominic Polly on. Striker. Extraordinaire. You don't want on the opposition. Here comes the corner. Oh, and it hits the crossbar. And it was Michio that got the contact. Lazy pass there. I think it was possibly uh, Solly. Clifford runs the ball out of defence. He's got Cundle away on the left. Chapman ahead of him. Cundle's going into the box. Cundle. He's run out of space. Pollyon squares it. Clifford. Oh, Clifford wide. Pollyon. So gracious. To Michio. It's a straight in. Here's Clifford. Right hand side. He's got Chapman overlapping. It's into Pollyon. Pollyon's volley out of the ground and Pollyon he, <laughs> he looks to the gods no, not quite yes it does that was uh, 2,900 it was 3,300 at Darford here's Sterling James Pollyon comes away to Cundle Edsa Sterling James onto Edsa Edsa inside the area Edsa pulls it back off of uh, Canice Carroll back to Sterling James Clifford oh inside to Martin Martin's still there oh and Polly undenied a yard out and it's gone for a corner Clifford to O'Neill back to Clifford Chapman Clifford <coughs> O'Neill in a bit of space. O'Neill, Chapman, oh, a back heel. Martin with a header into the arms of the keeper, but lovely play. This is it's almost testimonial stuff. Ball runs free for Sterling James. Sterling James to Edsa. Edsa going through the middle. McQueen, here's McQueen, edge of the box. McQueen, oh, falls as he kicks into the stand, but the fans don't care. Dennis Kutri can we put in that uh, bracket of managers that become fleet legends like Andy Ford there they go the fleet of one Epsleet are champions a victory by three goals to nil over Oxford City and Epsleet are promoted they're champions of the Vanarama National League South and they go up to the National League next season and this is a time for Fleet fans to remember for years and years. And the fans are staying on the terraces. It's a marvellous time. I think we'll be going over to radio shortly to describe some of the scenes, but all you need to know that the 3,131 people here in the ground, apart from a handful of Oxford United, Oxford City supporters are loving this moment. I've got tears in my eyes, and I think a lot of police supporters have. Been some tough times here at this club. Certainly over the last few years, it's been difficult. And when Dominic Pollyan celebrated his first goal, first thing he did was run to the dugout and lift up. Rakish Bingham shirt, held it aloft. This one's for you, Rakish. And uh, the players go to the plough end. And uh, oh, right at the top. 
And there have been tough times. The defeats against the Hartford at Christmas and New Year. One wondered, will it happen? Will it ever happen? Well, it did. And here's the living proof. And I say to Matt Panting, who should we interview after the game? All of them. I don't think we can get all of them. Not a bad side. They came to play. They certainly didn't shut up shop. And the awards begin with a medal going around the neck of fleet goalkeeper Mark Cousins, who didn't have too many hairy moments today. One header from Canice Carroll hit the crossbar. Luke O'Neill steps forward. He gets his medal around his neck. Next man up is Joe Martin. Come back into the side after a long injury layoff this season. These are the days that fans have just got to savour. Josh Wright steps forward. It's his turn. Josh Wright, such an influential player for Gillingham and other clubs. Sido John Batty didn't appear today. He was on the bench. An unused sub this afternoon. Amari Sterling James. Flying winger back from international duty last week. He came on at Taunton last weekend and turned the game to help the fleet to a 1 0 victory. Christian and Gesson. Well, the unsung hero of this Lee side does so much work as a defensive midfield player. Racky Springham raises the roof on crutches, hobbles forward, receives his medal, and the fans give him a stand and ovation. Craig Tanner, another player with a foot in a protective boot. It's another player with injury. His season was cut short before Christmas. Darren McQueen came on a substitute this afternoon. In his second spell at Ebsfleet, he knew promotion uh, once before with the fleet, having scored the winner against Chelmsford in a playoff final a few years ago. Chris Haig, the backup goalkeeper, had to make way for Mark Cousins when he came in. Harrison Firth, the young goalkeeper coming through the Fleet Academy. Dominic Pollyon walks up to collect his medal, carrying his man of the match champagne, his match ball, wearing a champion's flag around his shoulders. Pollyon, what a season. Probably never have another season like it. Greg Campbell, once a Gillingham striker, now a what a devastating wing back for Ebsley in this division. Released by the club and came back and earned a new deal. Franklin Domi, young Albanian, signed from QPR, great utility player. Toby Edsa emerged as a real talent for this fleet side, having been a Woking player in the past, started his career with Nottingham Forest. Billy Clifford, critical signing, the only player to come in during the season having been released by Haven at Waterlooville. Elliot Romain, not figured too much this season for Ebsfleet, but played his part when needed. Ben Chapman, another substitute this afternoon. Came on, another utility player, so crucial in the modern game. Kieran Monlui, another player blighted by illness and injury this season, but still managed to make appearances and a couple of goals. Alex Finney, another player, didn't feature today. He's been dogged by injury during the season. <coughs> Shaq Courthurst, his season's got better and better, but has been curtailed by an injury that's kept him out of the last few games. Hayden Hollis made a big difference at the back for Eversley since joining, having been released by Chesterfield. And now the skipper. Well, the skipper's going to come last of all. Dennis Kutri, the manager. He comes forward and gets his medal. And the skipper, Chris Sully, will be the last man standing in the queue. Chris Sully. Former Charlton stalwart. What a season he's had. He said to me last week at Taunton, they weren't going to take this game lightly. They were going out to win. So he steps forward and it'll be him that lifts the National League South Trophy. And 
and uh, one interested observer who was here alongside me was Terry Casey, the owner of Maystone. Well, he left before the end of the game, but he knows what this feeling is like. Last year it was Maystone, this year it's Epsley. As Chris Sully lifts the trophy, Epsley are promoted! Epsley are champions of the National League South. And Dennis Kutry is covered in champagne. players enjoy the moment. It'll be a, a time that whatever their career delivers